Hey everyone, a very good evening. Just wanted to make a quick video regarding summer research internships uh, because many of you uh, have this query that where do we get experience uh, in order to show it in our CV to apply for, you know, PhD in future. So this is a great opportunity uh, from ISERS, that is ISER Mohali, ISER Bhopal and ISER Kolkata. Uh, please remember that the last date uh, of submission for ISER Kol Kolkata is April 10th. So make sure that you submit it as soon as possible. Uh, all right. Now, if I quickly give you a intro about what these summer research internships are. Uh, well, in ISA Mohali, uh, if I talk about the eligibility criteria, it's uh, BSc second year and third year students or MSc first year students who can apply. Right. Uh, the summer program will be approximately of two months. And for ISA Mohali, it's from May 15 to July 22nd. The last date to apply is April 14th. And, um, well, if I talk about stipend, uh, well, uh, in terms of stipend, ISM Mohali is quite fair to the students. Uh, there are three categories of students. One is category A. That means they have their own scholarships. Category B is some students who will be funded by the grants of the faculty members or the professors. And then category C is rest of the applicants. Basically, if you are funding yourself. But the good part is that the accommodation will be taken care by ISER Mohali for category C students. That means if you do not have any scholarship, nor are you selected uh, as an applicant for any of the grants that are provided by the faculty members. Basically, if you are not getting any stipend, either your own stipend or the stipend provided by faculty members, then the ISER Mohali will provide you free accommodation. Okay. Uh, so th this is clearly written over here. Aisar Mohali will provide a, a free cost of accommodation to students in category C. So this is really good. And uh, rest of the details, uh, I will again, like I said, I'll give you the link down in the description box. You can go ahead and read that and then accordingly fill out the form. In case you have any doubts, I will provide you an email ID down uh, on the bottom right corner. And you can email me if you have any queries um, and I'll try my best to help out. Uh, the second one, as you can see over here, is ISER Bhopal. And uh, over here, again, the eligibility criteria is somewhat the same. Uh, the last date to apply is 16th of April. And um, like I said, second, third, and fourth year students are bachelors and MSc first year students. Many of you do have this query that if you have completed your MSc, if you can apply or not. Um, I'm, I'm very sorry to uh, inform you that you would not be eligible for this. Uh, if you have completed your MSc. So either you are in the first year of MSc or you are in the second, third or fourth year of your BSc. All right. Um, and then, okay, what else is given? Okay, the project duration is given from May 25 to July 25. Unfortunately, over here, there is no stipend. Okay, the, uh, you would not be provided any financial assistance. Um, it is clearly mentioned over here somewhere. Uh, and uh, additionally, even I think the hostel accommodation is not free of cost. That's why I said Isa Mohali was more considerate towards the students in terms of finances. But over here, see, here they have clearly mentioned no financial assistance will be provided. And if I'm not wrong, somewhere it was also mentioned that uh, hostel services also would be paid. Like you'll get the hostel, but then you'll have to pay for the accommodation. And the third one over here is Isa Kolkata. And uh, unfortunately, in terms of student friendliness, uh, that means the accommodation and the stipend, it's not very fair. Like Isa Bhopali was providing free accommodation. And in fact, there's a provision for stipend also. Isa Bhopal is providing the accommodation, but it is paid and there's no stipend. But Isa Kolkata is neither, um, you know, providing any accommodation. Like you don't, they are not providing hostel accommodation at all. And, uh, and there's no stipend also, like, over here, I did not uh, read anything about the stipend as such. So here you can mention, you can see ISER Kolkata will not provide any fellowship for this research program. And uh, additionally, they have written that uh, we can see that students may also work in an offline mode if permitted by the supervisor, provided they arrange their own accommodation. So that means I think over here you will have to arrange your accommodation as well. Uh, the last date to apply, like I said, is 10th of April till midnight. So you do have time but you need to be super quick over here. And the duration of the program is given 16 May to 15 July. One good part is that they have given that the publication of the list of selected candidates will be done on 17th April. So you can imagine that if you apply tomorrow, by 17th of April, the results will be out. So that way it's, it's, it's a good thing. Um, now, if you talk about what might be the criteria of selection, uh, some of them might have already mentioned on the website, but in general, the criteria is your academic performance because obviously in your bachelor's, 
um, and your masters, you do not, they do not expect you to have a lot of research experience. So how well you are scoring in the academics and they also ask for a write up. So how familiar, familiar you are with research, that is something that they would want to know. Um, apart from that, if you already, like if some of your professors know any of the professors in, let's say, ISER Kolkata, ISER Bhopal or ISER Mohali, um, they can put in a word for you that works, that goes a long way in your selection as well. Because ultimately, like I said, uh, connections do matter. So if, if someone can recommend you uh, or if they have their friends or some colleagues, like your professors have their friends or colleagues in these ISOs, they can put in a good word for you. That will also go a long way in your selection. All right. So all the very best. 